Hey everybody, it's Benjamin15 and we're actually going to review a pen instead of silly Iron Maiden videos and uh, you know Mortal Kombat riff-offs and actually get down to what I like about pens and actually reviewing them and being silly and all that good stuff. Okay, so this week we're going to review the Uniball uh, Signo 207 gel. Got this four pack a while back because I sit on, I buy stuff that I know I don't have, and then it sits in boxes, and then, you know, I dig around, I'm like, hey, let's try this. So, there's a little peek into how scientific all this stuff is. Okay, so let's see how long it is. Here's our Sharpie. So, it is a little bit longer than the Sharpie. So, it's a standard pen, pen length. This is not going to be something awkward or something too small. I have a relatively average sized hand, much too many, uh, well, okay, I'll make that joke later when the kids are asleep. Okay. Nice strong clip. Good solid click. You know, you feel it through the whole pen. Okay. Uh, it does have this rubberized, kind of textured grip. It's not super obtrusive, but I'm, I'm not a personal fan of it. Okay, and your tip comes off, spring, and the refill. Pretty basic looking stuff. I mean, basic sounds like I'm putting stink on it, but standard, you know. Uniball makes good stuff. Okay, there's our spring. Make sure the spring is engaged by the shoulder. Gonna hold a little compression on it. You know? pretty wide thread so you don't have to take too many uh, revolutions to get it engaged all right so let's get down to the get down and we'll do a smudge test let's give it three alligators one alligator two alligator three alligator not bad not bad okay let's do it again give them a two alligator one alligator, two alligator. Okay, again, some, but not bad. Let's get down to the get down with one alligator. Okay, so definitely going to have some issues if you're in a hurry. So, and then let's get down to the get down with height lighter because I'm a genius. Okay, thousand one, thousand two. Alligator 3. Okay. Typical results with the highlighter. I'm going to just clean that highlighter up a little bit. Alright, my son got me an alligator pen. Okay. A little, little uh, aside there. Okay, so the selling points of the Uniball are... Uh, it, 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 it touts a premium grip. I mean, I mean, this is just, I mean, it, it's okay. Premium's a bit much. For superior writing control and comfort. Okay, whatever. I think the, uh, the big selling point of the uh, Uniball is the, the uh, fraud protection that the ink is supposed to claim. So, it, um, the ink, the particles in the ink are supposed to bond to the paper so it makes, um, you know, washing techniques or exposure to sun for fading more difficult to do. So it's um, more for defense in, against people being fraudulent in certain ways. Um, so I've met a couple of professionals, accountants, um, lawyers, and things like that, that um, when they pity me with their time and uh, realize that I uh, am obsessed with pens for some reason they'll talk about that that this is the only brand that they use my I do have a complaint about it so uh, I was doing the the point three eight uh, ballpoint the other week and I noticed that the ball would skip and there would be parts that uh, I just wouldn't get a consistent line out of. And unfortunately, I've got the same type of result 
with uh, the Uniball Signo. Uh, when I'm writing on conventional paper, like if I print out a checklist at work and I'm writing, I, it tends to be pretty consistent, you know, no issue. However, when we go to a different media, uh, and more specifically where I work, they purchase uh, recyclable or recycled product uh, post-it notes. And for some reason, it just is really inconsistent on that. Now, I personally don't have the same type of product, but I did notice even on conventional paper, uh, it, it's not as consistent as uh, some other staples in the market. Um, Pilot, Pentel, uh, Sharpie even. Uh, so, some issues there. So, if you're loyal to the brand, you're not really going to go wrong with this. However, uh, I just think if we're spending this much, uh, we can get a more consistent product in the, uh, you know, in their uh, competitors. Okay, so not a bad pen, but um, it's not going to be the first thing I grab if there are other options um, in the store. All right, so everybody, I hope you have a great weekend. Um, I hope that you're facing things that you are equipped to face. And sometimes facing things uh, just means, you know, going to take a nap too. So good napping to you. All right. Thanks, guys.